The marine world is home to a spectacular array of remarkable creatures, and by far the most well-known of these are the fish. Among the most diverse and numerous of all vertebrate groups, and found almost anywhere there is water, whether fresh or salty. Remarkably, in the oceans alone, there are an estimated 20,000 species of fish, inhabiting every corner of the marine ecosystem, adapted to life at drastically different depths and temperatures. Generally, any vertebrate that swims by undulating its body, breathes with gills, and possesses fins, can be classified as a fish. But the sheer abundance of different fish species means that they do not form a single natural group, and are not all closely related to one another. In this two-part film, we'll take a look at the different groups of marine fish and discover some of their incredible adaptations to the many different environments of the oceans. First, let's examine the largest group of bony fish, the ray-finned fish, the diversity, colour, lifestyle and sheer numbers of which exceeds that of any other vertebrate group. In size, they range from the smallest of gobies at under one centimetre long, to the gigantic oarfish, with a body spanning 11 metres and in appearance, they range from streamlined pelagic wanderers like tuna, to long-snouted seahorses and the elusive anglerfish. One feature that unites these vastly different species is found beneath the skin. Ray-finned fish possess a gas-filled swim bladder. And as they are a group of bony fish, they contain a hard, calcified skeleton, rather than the soft, elastic cartilage found in sharks, rays, and chimeras. But fundamentally, members of this group can be identified by the shape of their fins, Unlike the fleshy fins of lobe-finned fish like the coelacanth, which we'll examine later on, ray-finned fish have bony and often spiny fins, made up of a radiating fan of narrow rods called rays. These are clearly seen lining the backs of species like the goliath grouper, and are the features that allow ray-finned fish to adopt such unusual body forms. The presence of a swim bladder allows these fish to maintain neutral buoyancy and stay at a preferred depth with minimal use of their fins. This frees up the fins, so they can take on a secondary role, such as for attack, defence, or escape. Let's take a look at some of the incredible ways ray-finned fish have evolved to use their fins. The dorsal fins of lionfish contain venomous spines, inflicting a painful sting on potential predators. In addition, 
Its large fan-like pectoral fins allow it to corral prey fish towards its mouth. At the surface, flying fish use wing-like pectoral and pelvic fins to propel themselves out of the water at speeds of more than 56 kilometers or 35 miles an hour. Once airborne, their rigid wings allow them to glide for up to 200 meters or 650 feet. In deeper waters far below, anglerfish have modified their dorsal spines in order to use them like a fishing lure. Within the altered spines, they host bioluminescent bacteria which produce light, helping the anglerfish attract prey while gaining protection and shelter in return in a mutualistic, symbiotic relationship. Closely related to anglerfish is the frogfish, which possesses stubby fins that help it crawl along on the sea floor, making it well suited to life on the bottom, where it preys on benthic invertebrates. Another deep sea dweller, the tripod fish, takes this adaptation one step further. The elongated pelvic and caudal fin rays allow tripod fish to hunt effectively by lifting its body almost a metre off the bottom and standing on the substrate while facing the current in weight of drifting food. This is important because currents are virtually non-existent close to the ocean floor. The largest ray-finned fish, the giant oarfish, has a long dorsal fin that runs along its entire length. It uses this to maintain a vertical position as it hangs ghost-like in the open ocean. These examples demonstrate the importance of the bony rays and gaseous bladders of ray-finned fish in allowing them to diversify in so many ways to survive in all parts of the oceans. But closely related to ray-finned fish is a far more primitive class of bony fish, a group of organisms with seemingly ancient characteristics that first evolved around 400 million years ago. In contrast to the diversity of ray-finned fish, there are only two main species of lobe-finned fish. Of these, only one dwells in the oceans, the coelacanth, which was believed to be extinct until 1938, when one was hauled up by a fishing boat. Before then, we knew of them only in the fossil record. Peculiar creatures with hinged bony skulls, thick scales common only in extinct fish, and fleshy muscular fins that resemble the limbs of land animals. Their discovery represented one of the most significant natural history discoveries of recent times. Living at depths of around 200 meters, down in the twilight zone of the ocean, they are found around the steep, rocky slopes of volcanic islands venturing forth from their lava rock caves at night to hunt. 
The feeding behaviour of coelacanths is as unique as their morphology. Drifting with the currents a few metres above the bottom, they use their fins in a paddle-like fashion, alternating between them in the same pattern used by four-legged tetrapods. As they move along, their unique jointed skull swings upward to greatly increase the gape of the mouth, allowing them to swallow whatever swims near enough to be sucked into it. Lobe-finned fish and ray-finned fish are sister groups, together forming the bony fishes. But while the presence of bone unites these two groups, it sets them apart from all the others, as we'll explore in part two of this video. Overall, the diversity of bony fish is staggering. The processes of adaptation and evolution have driven them to become among the most successful creatures on the planet. The number of body shapes and sizes of bony fish allows them to inhabit a huge range of habitats. Because of this, they can exploit many different ecological niches, occupying nearly every trophic level, adopting vastly different feeding habits, and contributing immensely to the overall biodiversity of the marine world. In the next video, we'll take a look at the world of cartilaginous fish to see how they are different from the weird and wonderful jawless fish with their circular teeth, to the infamous sharks and the elusive deep sea chimera. This portion of the video is sponsored by NordVPN. Proven to be the fastest virtual private network out there, NordVPN allows you to browse the web safely and securely protecting you from online snooping and interference, in much the same way as the counter-illumination of Firefly Squid protects them from predators. But it's useful for more than just protection. In one click, you can connect to any one of 5,100 servers in 60 countries and be able to access websites, content, and streaming platforms not available in your own country. On top of that, NordVPN is offering Natural World Facts viewers 73% off a two-year plan, plus an additional four months for free. Simply visit nordvpn.com slash naturalworldfacts, or use the code naturalworldfacts to get a two-year plan plus four additional months with a huge discount.